the best language that I know how to express myself or use is through, through texture, through line, through color. People are like, how are you an artist in North Dakota and making it too? And I said, well, I was in Chicago for a while and doing that, but ultimately you're just in your studio creating, right? And I was sending my work all over the country anyway. But I'm pretty stoked about my art sometimes. I'm like, damn, I'm so good. I'm here um, close to almost a decade of being a professional artist. There is still that connection that it's still me there, but that you see, or I hope you see, the growth and the development and the change, and, and that's life, right? Like we're constantly changing and growing and developing. It's you know partially in you or along the way, and, and luckily I, I could tap into that at a pretty young age. It was like, I, I distinctively remember like in third grade, my teacher, you know, exposing us to art and, and really integrating art into the curriculum far more than before or other teachers, I think, even. And so I was just like, what is that? You know, I love this subject. I love doing this and I couldn't do it enough. And I was lucky, you know, went to NDSU and graduated with art and interior design. And so that my solo senior show, right away the community just supported me and rallied around that, which was amazing. You know, West Acres Mall, I was able to do these huge commission pieces like right out of college and, and collaborate with engineers and interior designers and architects. And I got a taste for it right away. It, it was interesting that different galleries ended up picking me up where I didn't think I would all over the country. I ended up, was able to bring art down to Art Basel in Miami and showcase art down there. I have showcased art within galleries in Salt Lake City, Utah, Laguna Beach, California. Last year I did my first artist in residency for three months down in Scottsdale, Celebration of Fine Arts. Long before we even opened the doors of the Capitol Gallery, we knew we wanted Jessica Walker in this space. We actually met at our favorite restaurant, had a nice dinner and consummated an agreement where she would be a showcased artist before terribly long. She said she needed a little time because she wanted to get some really big pieces done, and she did, and here's the culmination of that. The theme, the hashtag no words, you know, we as a society start using these hashtags quite often. I hadn't even known about a couple years ago or a year ago, I had to ask a friend to give me a tutorial on what is a hashtag? How do we use hashtags or am I using them in the right way? It's this idea of abstract art, right? Like, so we come in and it's still abstract. Like everyone could use a different hashtag or a different vision or a different direction in that. And, and that's really fun that we're in this, this generation that our technology and our way of communicating is, is starting to be more creative. We had a visitor in uh, not long ago, a husband and wife, and the husband was being a little critical of, of the art form. Well, I just don't get it. You know, what, what is this supposed to mean to me? What does it say to me? And I was trying to explain, it doesn't say anything. It's what you hear. It's what you want it to be. And then he was getting a little obstinate. He says, well, what's this purpose? What's the purpose of this piece? The piece right over my shoulder. And his wife spoke up and she said, it would bring the room to life. People always ask, well, what does this art mean? Like, tell me what you see and I don't want to tell you what to see, right? Like, there are no words. Usually the unplanned stuff has been the most um, fun or rewarding or eye-opening or every time I try to plan something, it never goes how I think. Like, I just try to trust and go with it and be open to like, anything or some new experiences or what. Some of them I hate, you know, I'm like, I hate this one and I'll hate it, then I love it, then I hate it, and then I come back and in the end I'm like, oh, it did, I trusted that it eventually would work out and then I end up loving it and maybe it's because of that struggle or that battle along the way. I, I don't always have a direction that I wanna go and even as much as I do have a direction, it changes and shifts and it evolves as the painting becomes part of me and as I sit with it. We're just so happy that Jessica has been taking the country by storm from Miami to Scottsdale to California and all points in between. And now here she is showcased in Bismarck, her hometown. 
what I tell young artists is is to not give up. You know, it's easy to give up. It's easy to not fight for that career or that um, your art and what you want to create, and to not you know listen to all the noise surrounding. Sometimes the biggest thing I see is is young artists is you know don't give up or, or make what you want to make, and don't make what you think will sell or what other people sell. That's their thing. Do what you have to do. No one else can make what you can make and give to the world. It's just what I have to do. I get agitated or I can just, I feel off if I've been away from the studio or not creating or not physically using my hands and getting dirty and messy um, after a while. It just doesn't feel right. Because I could see myself doing this till the day I die. Woo! That's right, baby. <laughs> Funding provided by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.